And welcome to Towny Inside and Out, where we are transparent whether you like it or I like it. Hey guys, did you miss me? Because I always miss y'all. Well, you already know, my week was actually great. Because I had a whole fucking week off of work. And I was refreshed and feeling great. I got to sleep. Like, whoever's home right now, you know, rebuilding, working from home, like, I hate y'all. Like, I hate all of y'all. You know why? Because it feels good to just be in your house. I know it sucks for some of y'all. Y'all feel like, oh, I wish I was just in the office and the kids are driving me crazy. And, uh, but guess what? I have to fucking go to work every day. I have to deal with multiple fucking personalities. And you know what? Y'all already know I work on fucking Fordham. It be wild. Like, let me tell y'all the tea that happened. Like, what well, today is Thursday. So, Monday and Wednesday were hot days for us. Monday, a group of, like, three guys and maybe two girls. You may, wa- may see this on social media. Dropped on the floor and started foaming from the fucking mouth. It it was chaos, all lo- like chaos. Everybody was running, so of course we run out to see what the fuck is going on. Cause you know they be doing the illegal card gambling shit in front of the store. So I'm thinking like, oh shit, they done shot, stabbed one of these motherfuckers. It's over. No, it's a prank. And I'm like, really, you listen to motherfuckers with all the shit that's going on? Pen that you gonna throw yourself on the fucking floor? Fo- Ay, Dios mío. It's like, I'm gonna pray for you little youngings. Because I don't know what the fuck y'all doing. Because y'all forget that, like, there are germs on the fucking floor. People spit. People do all kind of shit. But whatever. That's not here or there. That's not my business if you want to catch the Rona and you don't believe in Rona. Because that bitch is real. That bitch out here taking all kind of lives. So I don't know why y'all fucking around throwing yourselves on the floor, foaming from the mouth. Like, that's stupid. So then Wednesday, which was yesterday, it was busy. I was mad busy. Thank you to them. Stimmies. Shout out to Biden. You got niggas shopping. Hello. So, you know, it's been heavy for me. I've been really happy because it's been busy having a bitch on her toes and shit. But I look outside and I'm like, is that one, two, three, four? Oh, shit. That's like eight cops running like for their lives. So, of course, I'm I'm nosy. I'm going to go see what's going on. It's like 12 cop cars parked by VIM, like almost on the sidewalk. And it's one Jamaican guy that's homeless, mind you. His pants are around his fucking knees. So I'm trying to understand how did he run from Valentine all the way to fucking Elms with his pants on his knees and y'all didn't catch him. And he gave y'all a run for y'all money because he dead ass told the cops, I ain't here to make your job easier. Cause he was get he was fucking them up. I mean, I feel like y'all all they were what got me upset is that y'all all y'all were all young. How are you out of breath, tired? This nigga doesn't eat right, doesn't sleep right, does all kind of fucking drugs, but he outran y'all? And y'all had co- y'all were chasing him in cars too. Like NYPD set up an I don't know, a bigger gym, better equipment. Y'all need that shit like the UFC has, that whole machine shit that they put and they could tell your levels of your endurance. Cause I don't know what the what are y'all doing over there? Because Mijo, he he dead. It was two of y'all holding him. Cause if not, he was gonna break loose. He was with the shits. He told y'all, ask about me. I was crying because he was taunting them, talking mad shit about them. And I was like, oh, okay, so I heard you. But um, what the fuck did you take? Because I don't see nothing. Then come to find out he took a speaker. But I'm like, where the fuck is the speaker? Nobody knew where the speaker was because who knows? Maybe he handed that shit off. I mean, who knows if he zigzagged? I didn't get to watch the running 
from Valentine down all the way to Elms. Um, I'll tell you, there was a couple of people who did run with him. And I'm like, how did those people? There was an old lady. Yo, this old lady had me crying because she's in Spanish. She's like, Dios mío. Pero ese hombre estaba corriendo y la policía estaba casi muriéndose. I was in English translation. She was like, that man was running and the cops were dying there. And I'm there behind him. She was behind him taping. I'm like, wait, you got the whole shit on tape? Like, you're like... You're like 70, like, oh, shit, heard you, you down with the 2021, catch everything on video. But, you know, fuck it. I hear her. It was interesting. He had a foul, foul mouth. I learned what bumble clap means. I sure did. Bumble clap means ass wipe. Because he also um, educated the officers as he was talking shit. I love that, though. Like, who doesn't love an educated criminal? Like, dead ass. You're getting, he, you're arresting him, but he's also teaching you something. So, bumble clot, bumble is the word for butt in Jamaican say, and clot is a uh, cloth. So, bumble clot means ass wipe. Ass wipe. Exactly. Because they didn't have toilet paper back in the days. And you already know what, I mean, you had to be resourceful. I imagine Adam and Eve were fucking cleaning their asses with leaves and shit. Damn, that must have been fucked up. You picked the wrong one. Because, you know, they didn't have, like, that little shit when you go to the parks and they have, like, be careful, beware, maybe poison ivy or whatever the flowering shit. These are the plants that are growing here. Ah, and they give you, like, a whole fucking story about the plant, which is great because I love knowledge, right? But imagine then when you didn't have that shit and they were just wiping their ass and then their ass broke out into itchy. Like, that must have been some fucked up shit. Now that I think about it, like, trial and error from then to now, it's great that we have toilet paper, flushable wipies, fucking wipies, all kind of shit for your ass to stay. We, what are them toilets called that they spray your ass? Whatever they're called, Dubai's, Dubai's, whatever. They wipe your ass for you. Like, there's so much shit out there now. Imagine back, I come from DR. Y'all already know, I'm Dominican. Whoop, whoop. Y'all know what a letrina is? I don't know if y'all know what a letrina is. But the first, my first encounter with a letrina was not great. See, my, my, I used to go to DR with my grandmother in the summer. And my grandmother's like, Tú tienes que usar el baño antes de acotarte. And we just got to the campo. We just got to Jarabacoa, which is like, Three, four hours away from the city. It's like the, the sub, 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 suburbs. They didn't even have light yet. That's how sub, sub, suburbs they were. Like they just literally, like maybe 10 years ago, they literally got like good electricity and good Wi-Fi. I'm dead ass. They're on the top of the mountain. Like Contanza is on top of them, which is like the coldest part of DR. It's like the peak of, of the mountain and we're right under them. So we were still in caveman times. So, you know, my grandma tells me you have to use the bathroom. So I'm like, all right, cool. Now my uncle was building a house at the time and it's at the top of the hill and it's under construction. So we're sleeping there while it's under construction. So I'm already scared out of my ass. She's like, camina pal baño. And I'm like, okay, the bathroom is right there. She's like, no, there's no, there's no water running. You can't use it. I'm like, fuck my life. Okay, so where are we going? This bitch takes me to a hut. No, grandma, I didn't call you a bitch. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. You know, that's a word of endearment. Sorry. I love you. May you rest in peace. Don't kick my ass. This lady takes me to a little hut. It was a door, a little shack door with a hole and, and, and a hole. And I'm, I'm looking at her like, who, you know, I'm American, right? Like, is there anywhere in the embassy that it says that I'm, I'm, uh, I have to pee there? I'm not peeing there. What if something comes out of there and bites my butt? She must have knew what I was thinking in my little head. Cause she's like, mira, I'm in favor. And y siéntate, meaning uh, sit your ass and pee. So she's, she does, she used to do this thing that used to get on my fucking nerves. To force you to fucking pee. So, of course, now I have to pee because I'm hearing this pee sound. So, I pee. And when I tell you that I must have cried myself to sleep because I felt like my butt touched something. I don't know if it did. It, it probably didn't. It was just my imagination. I felt like everything was crawling on me. I just, I, I felt disgusting. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't take a shower neither at that time because, like I said, the house was under fucking construction. So, it, it sucked. So, 
bathrooms in other places, I don't know how y'all had job bathrooms, but a letrina is not it. I don't like it. I'm so happy that we are now back to 2020 over there because I don't think they've hit 2021 or still in Jarabacoa. They're like a year behind. Like when my kids were out there, I had to get two Wi-Fis in order for them to have Wi-Fi that worked. So imagine how shit is out there. But regardless of that, did you guys hear that In the Heights has like a revamp of Washington Heights? I'm so excited. Like y'all don't even understand how excited I am. Like I can't wait to watch this musical because i love musicals (sighs) my life is a musical every fucking day in my head like every day i'm just like dancing all over the place and happy so my life is a musical but what i love about in the heights is that it's definitely going to showcase what the heights is really if you're not from the heights then you don't understand what i'm talking about living in the heights and I imagine there are hundreds of communities that are like this, but it's my experience because obviously I, I grew up there and I lived there. It was different. Like, everybody knows each other. Not only does, even if they don't know you, they know that they know your mother, they take care of you. It, it's such a, like, united neighborhood. It, it's, it's so different from, it's like being in DR. That's how you it feels. Because in DR, you don't go hungry in DR. Your neighbor will feed you the fucking the vida latas which is what we call dogs that live in the street them niggas will feed you like anybody will feed you in dr dr is definitely a place where the poor people are are rich people in in aspect of of love and and generosity so i love how washington heights is like there's so much rich that i didn't know history about washington heights so in the movie they talk a lot a lot about how washington heights came about and it comes out June 18th, so y'all better watch it. H- if y'all got HBO Max, y'all, y'all already know. Y'all gonna watch it for free, so y'all better watch it because that shit's gonna be the shit. But I can't wait to watch it. It's a, it talks about it talks about how Washington Heights, how how the community is, how much love there is out there, how love stories in the bodegas. I can't wait to see how they revamped it and made it more into Washington Heights. But speaking about Washington Heights, did you guys know that Washington Heights hosted the first moving picture where it was broadcast at Morris Jamel Manson, which that's like on, I think it's like on 165th, if I'm not mistaken. And now I think is you could get like tours. It's like a historical little building. There's mad shit in Dykeman and in the Heights that's historical little lamp posts that I, I knew a couple, but I didn't know there was so many. Like, did you guys also know that professional baseball has its roots in the Heights? Like, the Gi- the New York Giants played in the polo grounds. We all know what the polo grounds are. Like, the Giants used to play there. By the Harlem River on, on 155th, from, 19, from 1890 to 1957. Like, that's crazy that they were down there for so many years. I never even knew that they were out there. Not only that, the Bronx Bombers uh, started playing in Hilltop Park. Ha ha! They, before they became the Bronx Bombers, they were... I, they had a, a weird name because I was like, I, I was like, what the fuck? Y- the Yankees weren't even named the Yankees. The Yankees before they were the Yankees and before they were the Bronx Bombers, they played up there and they were called the Highlanders from like what? The who- KKs? I was so co- like, where did y'all go from Highlanders to Yankees? What made y'all change? I have to do my little research on that and I'll let y'all know. But that was from 1903 to 1912. So that's crazy that the Yankees really didn't become the New York Yankees or the, until they got to the Bronx. They were the Highlanders. And they were still a really good team, just so y'all know. They were good from the jump. The motherfuckers had the A game going. But also, can I tell y'all that right now, and this is like, a, it deserves a little jumbo. The Heights is one of the safest neighborhoods. Like, did y'all hear that? Because the Heights is the 16th, well, the 16th, the 24th, I'm sorry, the 24th out of 69 for the lowest criminal. And that comes from DNA info, so you know that shit is true. And that's crazy because the Heights back in the 80s, if y'all know anything about the Heights in the 80s and the 90s, that shit was crazy. Like, crazy. Like, I remember, and I don't know if it was on 190th or on 191st they killed a fireman they threw a a tar a a bucket full of tar and they 
they crushed him, which is ho- obviously horrible. But, you know, it was crazy back in the days. I remember Halloween one year, we were trick-or-treating, and they threw a refrigerator off the roof. So imagine your little kid in a fucking refrigerator just lands on the sidewalk. Like, it was crazy back then. But at the same time, a lot of people, the neighborhood drug dealers kept the neighborhood definitely safe all the drug users had to get the fuck out our block they couldn't use drugs on our block crackhead ira was my favorite crackhead because he cleaned my mama's car and shit and whatever i needed build my bike because niggas fucked up my training wheels so i needed him to fix them ira did it ira was the man shout out to ira the crackhead because he was like a functional crackhead and that's one thing i definitely saw in the heights that was different i saw a lot of functional drug addicts like they had their house they were junkies and you know they had like bayous i don't know if y'all know what that is that's like a whorehouse they used to do a lot of crazy shit you know what i'm saying like it was just crazy up there like it's like little dominican republic literally if you look up the heist that's what they call it little dr but before it was little dr there was a lot of irish a lot of jewish a lot of italians so when we came you know we weren't welcomed very well like she got serious like they when they opened i remember when they opened up well i don't remember because i wasn't born but i was reading when they opened up the pool uptown that it it's roberto clemente pool they wouldn't let no spanish kids or nothing in there it would only be the irish and the italians that were allowed to go in there and it was like Mind you, the mayor opened it for it could be a segregated, so it, it wouldn't be segregated. It could be integrated. Everybody could go and whatever, have a great time. Mm-mm. They weren't, they weren't with the shits, and it didn't, it didn't change until they killed a sixteen-year-old white kid, and that's where um, that movie comes from. Um, what's the name of that movie? The West Side Stories. I think it's called the the that that's crazy to me that I didn't I didn't I would have never thought that that they had would have came up with a whole movie about that kid dying and it's something based uptown in the heights and that's where it comes yeah west side stories was definitely it was on broadway a white teenager was killed because of the pool because he want he was he didn't let other kids from harlem get in the pool and it's crazy i live in harlem now and i'm from the heights and kids from harlem killed this kid in order to let spanish people and black kids get in the pool up there and one i used to I was a lifeguard there for like four days. Oh, my God. It was my worst experience ever. If you're a girl, well, obviously, there are so many women out here. When you're a lifeguard, your life is impossible. You have to definitely, like, wear the shorts, wear a tank top, because you're just not going to have a peaceful day at work. I got harassed all day, so I just quit. I, I couldn't do it. It was fun, though, the three days I was there. I saw a lot of shit, a lot of shit. I didn't know at that time you know that people would actually fuck in the pool in front of everybody like not give a fuck and i was like oh yeah oh yeah yeah Ooh, okay let me look this way isn't that your kid floating that oh let me sip this i don't know what they're talking about over there i saw a lot of shit there though a lot of fights a lot of stabbing in three days i saw so much shit that i was like i don't want to work here no more because um i'm happy and i need a happy place i thought the pool was going to be happy no it wasn't so I, I it's crazy to know that the in the heights is going to come out with a movie about the heights that i am honored that they chose washington heights because washington heights is beautiful if y'all go up there y'all go to like fort triangle park i don't know if you ever been up there it's an amazing park like it's huge you see the george washington bridge the views are amazing they have trails bike trails hike trails like that park is it's like a mini central park it's a huge ass park and it's beautiful it goes from one side of dykeman to the other side so all the way uptown to the to 170 something and i think broadway or something like that it's by um by that catholic school i forget i forget the name of the catholic school it'll come to me but cabrini that's what it is cabrini park there's another park uptown i know you Heights people know Cabrini Park because, you know, a lot of shit used to happen in Cabrini Park. A lot of fights, a lot of girls doing bad stuff because them Cabrini girls. Well, how is it that they used to say, oh, you go to Catholic school, you're a good girl. No, not them Cabrini girls. Them girls was bad girls. They were. Hmm. But anyway, let's not talk about them girls because they may get mad at me. Another shit is, did you guys know that Malcolm X was murdered? in washington heights on one on 165th and broadway and to me that's like that's historical to have something so 
that changed so much shit for so many people because Malcolm X was I, I I love I've watched his movie I think like 10,000 times he was an amazing person like the way he spoke the way he just looked at life both ways because he definitely had both both views of life because we know he wasn't good before he became Malcolm X he was he was red and you know jo- right right he and he was out there with his hair smooth back chilling with all them chicks because he was a ladies man so I, I love the fact that it's something else that I could say damn even though he he passed away there but that's something good to know that he chose the heights to give an important speech that was his last speech so a lot of shit has happened up there they have the most greatest restaurants i know i always tell you i'm always eating up there because brooklyn is far guys and queens is far and i need to venture off to queens because i'm trying to try all these colombian shit that i'm seeing on tiktok that drive me crazy but my best and most favorite restaurants in the heights is el malecon if you go to el malecon at four o'clock in the morning you need to have biste salteado with mango y'all know what mango is because everybody eats mango at this point and pepper it's like pepper steak (sighs) you're drunk you'll be sober you'll wake up you'll be fine no hangover you're happy life happy everything i love their shit right across the street is el conde if you like churrasco, they the shit to go and have a great steak because they steak is the shit. And of course, y'all already know Floridita. If y'all don't know about Florida, that's like Fat Joe's favorite place to go. Flat, he's always eating up there. I think I've bumped into him a couple times up there. Even now, I imagine now that he has his store up there, he goes even more. They also have a bookstore, which is amazing to know that a lot of bookstores have not survived not only the pandemic they just haven't survived like barnes and nobles and a lot of other big bookstores that have opened that now you can get them through amazon you get it cheaper so a lot of bo- little bookstores mom and pop they haven't survived but there's one uptown it's called word up and i love the fact that the community came together and raised money and made them like a little landmark of the heights so that bookstore you know is funded a lot of people fund them so that they stay afloat and it's great that they're promoting reading because reading is important guys reading is so important to exercise your brain it is very important to exercise your brain because if you don't exercise your brain on the real like you're not doing yourself justice at all at all so changing the topic about the heights because you know i love me the heights dykeman is coming y'all already know it's about to get crazy in dykeman listen i'm gonna I'm talk to y'all bike riders real quick because i watched the meek mills movie last night i had never seen it before and i watched it last night i was very interested about bike life like it made me want to go get a bike like i get it now i understand why y'all ride like lunatics but can i tell y'all to respect the streets please don't act like wild hyenas and act crazy and doing like you know set up shit smartly you know don't make it seem like everything is going crazy and that's why now the cops are going crazy now i can't cop nothing because y'all done made everything hot like can we chill this summer can we have a fun summer because i'm outside this summer i don't know about y'all but ladies i already told y'all if y'all follow me on instagram we get home and we get home fuck what you heard you know what it was 2020 we spend it inside we didn't go outside we didn't do nothing we were just inside we need to venture off outside don't say no well no that's my other shit i'm i'm gonna say no i'm i need to learn how to say no to what i really want to say no i don't know is there anybody else like that out there that like sometimes you want to say no but you say yes anyway subconsciously like you just say yes because you're just used to saying yes so you're like mm-hmm, yeah yeah so I looked up mad ways to say no. And I found so many interesting ones that are like, uh, they, I, I just love, I'm not going to tell you my favorite ones yet. I'm just going to, I'm going to read you how to say no. You could be like, nah, nah, I'm good. Nope. No way. Sorry. Not now. Certainly not. By no means necessary. I shall not. Not likely. No, thanks. I think not. Unfortunately not. This one, I, I, I'm slammed. Like, how you somebody t- imagine somebody asking you like, yo, can I borrow twenty dollars? Nah, I'm slammed, yo. Th- like that don't that that's not a, that I, that don't go good. I don't I don't know what why they, why they say slammed. Not possible. Not this time. Not for me. Thanks. 
it's not my thing. I think I'll pass. Not today, thanks. I wish I could, but so I'm gonna I'm incorporate all of these into when I'm saying no to people when they asking me to do shit that I really don't want to do for them, but I always feel like obligated to do them because I like to help people. So he's gonna be my new no. So when you hear these, you understand that I just meant no. If I only could, I I, I would. My favorite though was definitely one that I was just like. Whoever came up with this was sitting down thinking about, hmm, how am I going to say no where they're going to understand that I meant I'm not with the shits? And, and <laughs> you know, it's like, I feel like I'm a lot of people that were sitting coming up, he's like, I'm not interested. If I only could, if I only, if only it could work, I need to bow out like, what you mean you need to bow out? How I'm going to bow out of, like, what would, how I'm going to piss you? That's the best way to piss somebody off. Like, I'm going to text somebody when they tell, no, nah, I'm going to bow out on this one. I'll, I'll get tight if you, t- like, what the fuck you mean you're going to bow out on this? I'm like, hold on a second. Matter of fact, Google, what they try, they trying to be funny with me? And not even being stupid is more of like, you being funny with me. You being disrespectful. I got something for you. And then, you know, of course, you, they give you a guilt trip and then you wind up doing it because that'd be, that'd be me. And then I love the rats. I would have loved to. Because, like, really rats? Like, coño. That's how I would have, like, coño. I would have loved to, pero no puedo. Then they have another one that I was like, I was just like, what the fuck? I'm going to have to expert my, <laughs> my no muscle on this one. Like, what? the fuck thanks for thinking of me but i can't thanks for no things i'm not able to make it this week this month this year i have too much on my plate right now like damn okay so you know people i say practice the saying no to the shit that you really want to say no to because at the end of the day sometimes you just have to say no like also i want to let's talk about friendships I feel like I was watching, I don't know if if any of y'all watch like the housewives, you know, whenever I get like five minutes on my lunch break, I I watch them on my DVR, on my phone. Thank you, Spectrum, for putting DVR on my phone because I could watch my shit. But some shit happened that made me think about a lot of not only women, but men, too, that do this, that I was like, yo, at some point, at some time. You have to really realize who the fuck your friends are. Because your friends' jokes and little underlying shit that they say, that be how they feel about you. You just be too like, "Mm, no, they love me. They don't really mean it like that. No, bitch, they really do. If you always got to be taking the high roll, then you got to really look at maybe you dealing with the low roll a little too much. (laughs) Seriously. Because, bro, I've... there. At a table having a conversation the night before they had had like an intimate conversation or whatever and one of the girls has shared something about sleeping with her boss or some shit. Then the next day they're talking and she's like, yeah, well, you slept with your boss. And I'm like, oh, I'm thinking, oh, if I beat your ass, then what? Like, how do you do that? Like, if we're girlfriends, there has to be a code of level of respect that even if we ain't friends no more, you don't air out my dirty laundry. Because I'm not going to air out yours. It's, I'm, I don't believe in that tit for tat. Because tit for tat could get you really attacked and, and fucked. Like, mm, no, I got time all the time. Like, all the time. All the time. Fuck. No. So I feel like as friends, even if you're not friends anymore, I feel like you got to keep your shit to yourself and not say nothing. You know what I mean? Like, it is what it is. But nah. Nah, it's not like that. Nowadays... They'll fucking start a whole Instagram page about your business and tell everybody, which is like, damn, bitch, I bother you that much that you got to really go there. But it be whatever. You got to take the high road. I always tell everyone, take the high road. At the end of the day, violence is not the key to everything, even though I feel like I could solve that with everything. But I've also I'm starting to learn that some people ain't worth my saliva. Like, if you ain't worth my... What? Nah, bro. Have a great day. You can keep talking. Like, oh, great. You know how many crazy people I encounter daily? 
And I, that's what made me think, like, I can't get mad every time some crazy person says some crazy shit to me. Like, we have a man that comes to the door every couple of weeks to argue with our door. Well, with the guys that work in the jewelry side. He calls them all kinds of crazy names. And, you know, I'll be feeling bad. But at the same time, I'm like, mm -hmm, you know, what can we do? He's fucking crazy. He just came out the nut house. And these, they let them out, roam the streets. What are we going to do? Beat them up. No, you gotta let them be crazy. I like crazy people. Crazy people at least are honest people. They'll tell you the truth, even if you don't like it. They'll fucking tell you some shit that you'll be like, okay, sir, thank you. I didn't need to know that. Hmm. But regardless of that shit, can I say some shit to the ladies out there? Ladies, we are not fucking plumbers. Do you hear me? We are not plumbers. Please lift your pants up. I don't know. When the girls start sagging, like, I've seen so many cracks of asses this past couple of days. I'm like, let me start taking tallies. Like, what the fuck is going? What is going on? Did did girls go back to wearing hip huggers? Like, what the fuck? I don't know, girls. Y'all need to step your shit up. Keep your pants up. Get a belt. I don't know what's going on. Wear your size. Because, you know, I, you guys... Sometimes I I don't know why y'all do it to yourselves. Why y'all be wearing shit that's not your size? Like, come on. One thing I will tell you that I, I do love that I'm gonna tell the girls with the big tatas, do you know that you can turn your tank tops into a fucking sports bra by flipping in the straps? You have to try it. I tell you I love TikTok. I learn a lot of shit on fucking TikTok. TikTok is very resource resourceful. So if you're not on it, Get on it, because it's going to teach you some shit. It's going to teach you how to cook, some good drinks, some other stuff that I can't talk about right now, because, mm-hmm, and it's going to teach you a lot of shit. So go on there and learn some shit. I learned how to put my bra into a sports bra. It was the most comfortable way I slept ever. My titties were secure, happy, and not, like, suffocating. And I love sports bras, so it's like sometimes you just can't find a good one, and it'd be fucking whack. So now I can turn all my tank tops into fucking sports bras. Ladies, Saturday, we're having an event for S Street. I am so excited for this event because it's all about women empowering women. And y'all already know that that's what the fuck I'm about. Women empowering women. So y'all already know all you small YouTube live. I know y'all see me. Oh, y'all better send me all y'all shit. All you girls out there that have your small business. Hit me up. Let me know what your business is about. I'll shout you out. If you want to come on, come on. Let's talk about it. Because I am definitely about it. I want you girls to succeed. Yeah, young men too. I'm not, I'm not excluding you. But I'm just saying. Women, we have to start empowering and pushing each other to succeed. There's enough people hating us all day. We don't got to hate each other. Even if we don't know each other. I've learned too. When I, I see girls in the street and I... They don't, they don't have to be looking great. And I just say, hey, beautiful to them. Yo, the way their face looks at me, it, it makes my day where I'm like, mm, that was so sweet. I made her day. And it's not, I didn't even have to, it's just because I said, hey, beautiful. So we need to stop changing the way we approach each other. Instead of being all like, hmm, I'm an alpha female because I'm an alpha bitch. So that's why I say it. Let's be more sweet and nice. Like if we're talking to a nigga. That's how we should start taking when we speak into a female. Like, it's a nigga coming to us. So we could be all, like, dancing, like, hey, honey, how are you? How you doing? So what's your name? Because, girls, ain't nothing wrong with you liking, sharing. So even if y'all don't know each other on Instagram, you know how many people I follow that I just, I saw their business on somebody else's page, and I was like, oh, shit, I like that. Let me, let me follow it. And I may not go look at it every day, but every once in a while it catches my eye, and I'll go look at it and... I'll maybe repost it or maybe go ask them questions on their DM or maybe purchase it. So you never know. You know what I mean? And I feel like word of mouth, I know I, there's a, a special person that I'm not going to say his name yet, but there's a special person that I'm, I hope comes on my show that he did his business from the ground up. And not even freaky fridge, I'm everywhere. I've known that nigga for years, for years. Yeah, for years that he makes the hats. Yeah. Like, he is a motivation, my nigga. That, he started his brand from the ground up, like footwork. That's hard, bro. Not a lot of people have that dedication to go out there and hustle and grind 
and let people see your shit. Look, this is what I'm about. This is what I'm doing. People be so scared to talk to people that that's why sometimes they don't excel because they're shy and they don't know how to approach people. They feel like they're gonna sound dumb. I don't give a fuck how I sound. Honestly, if I'm if I when sometimes I'll say the most craziest shit and people will buy it. People dead will buy what I'm and and it's and it'll be some shit that I'm like, yeah, look at the cookies bags. I my slogan for the cookies bags is that they're smell proof, they're waterproof, but they're not bulletproof. So, you know, it's all about how how you you just have to get comfortable with yourself and how you look at things. You'll be surprised that you're the way you show some showcase to somebody. Don't buy that shit because, bro, he started with hats. Now he has this whole movement about make asses real, which I am so with the shit. He makes booty shorts. Girls, go get chopped. I am everywhere. Booty shorts and hats, sweaters. Teach all kinds of shit. And he moves that shit on his own. Footwork. Word of mouth. I met him clubbing in deep in, I think, early 2000s. I don't even remember. But the way I met him was hilarious. Now, if y'all know him, he's he he was a heavy set guy. He had no shirt on, okay? He's in the, he's in the VIP with two chicks on one on each side. And he's selling weed and duchess for five fucking dollars when a dutch was a dollar so i'm like what uh you said how much you said for that dutch he was like where are you gonna and it was true where the fuck was i gonna get a dutch there was no store around the one 26th street and like fifth and sixth where are we going so of course everybody was gonna buy his five dollar dutches when they were like oh no they were like 75 cents at that time so yeah that's how me and him met we got into a baby argument and then we became friends and then i used to see him there every sunday and i loved his vibe and his aura like all, he was like a chick magnet. Like all the chicks used to just flock to him. I used to be like, what the fuck? Like, what are you doing over there? Like, you making tricks? Stunning? Nah, it's just him, his personality, the way he talks. He makes you, he makes everything great. I love his, I love him. He's a great person. But moving along, Elias, shout out to Elias because he's from Elias. So shout out to Elias. Juan's is a, is a barber shop down there. They're great barbers. He's down with them. I forget what, what street they're on, but they're somewhere in the Elias by after Delancey or before Delancey. I'm not too sure, but they're down there. Check them out. They mad cool. They have their little mustache shit. It's so dope. Not only that, I feel like, I mean, I'm going to look them up so I can tell y'all where they are, where they are. They also do the most cutest little haircuts as far as like when, if you have that style of, you know, the men that are trending with the mustaches, how y'all have them all fancied out. They're definitely with the steaming and all the shits with your stashes. I love that about them. They got, I love Juan's mustache. His mustache is hilarious because he looks like, what's that guy's name? Um, Juan Pablo, um, th that he had his little mustache lifted up to the side. Even Os Osamity, um, Osamity Sam, he was always chasing rabbits trying to catch something. I love the way them shits look. I think they're so cute. And I didn't like beards before or mustaches. I just like when they're styled and they're groomed. Because, guys, do you know that there's mad germs in a beard? I don't even want to talk about how many germs are in a beard. So if y'all niggas have beards, make sure y'all clean them correctly. It's very important to clean your beards. Because that's why, you know, beards are a roughy. It's hair. For hair follicles, y'all make sure to clean them. That's why I love when men educate other men in barbershops about how to upkeep. Even... I crack up. Have y'all seen those videos on Instagram when the guys put the, the, it's like wax in their nose and they put the black mask that rips your life off and then they pull that shit out of their nose? Holy, I, I have nose hairs and I wouldn't do it. I'm like, mm -mm, no, thank you. Let them stick out and say hi to people because I'm not, that shit look like it's going to rip my soul. And I give it to y'all men because y'all do it. Y'all, y'all metros, y'all, y'all in there. Other than that, I want to talk about how much people are body shaming skinny chicks. Like, yo, what the fuck is going on? Like, it's bad. They were saying Me Megan the Stallion, she's too tall and she's too big. Like, what the fuck? So now it's like, if you're too skinny, you're bony. If you're too big, you're like an Amazon. Like, come on, guys. Like, let's not do that. Like, before it was the fat girls. Now y'all leaving us alone for a little while and y'all attacking the skinny bitches. Like, don't do that. Because on the low, y'all love all of us. Because there's men can, men are visual. 
Men are not mental or emotional. Y'all see shit. Y'all be liking them bony girls, just like y'all be liking them thick girls. Y'all just like to keep it a secret. Not the bone, the, se- the thick girls. Y'all keep a secret, cause I, yo, I, you know, you know a couple of friends that you know they used to hit a broad up, but they would not admit to that shit just cause she was a big girl. And you be like, damn, bro, but I know you do. I seen you creep out of house at like three o'clock in the morning the other day. Like, bro, she was at the window watching you leave. Why are you gonna tell me no? All right, fine, take it to the grave. Don't admit that you're fucking her. And then the bitch lose weight, does surgery, and looks bad as shit. Now you want to admit that you fucked her, right? Oh, now you did. I love those. Shout out to the girls that that don't give a fuck and go get they whole shit done and then come back and shit on everybody because the, <laughs> there's some of them that be shit on everybody's life. Become stuck up bottle girls and don't give a fuck. Traveling on your time and my time, shit. Them bitches gain all our money because they gain mine too. They be too cute. I, the natural girls, the bottle, the, the all of them. I fuck it. I love all of them. I feel like if you love your body and that exudes out of you, then I love that. I love confidence. I love a woman who could walk into a room and own that shit, and not and with a bitch with their resting bitch face. Yes, bitch, work the room with your fucking face that tells you don't fucking talk to me, but still your aura is telling me I am welcomed. You can come and say hello. I don't bite. Maybe if you like it. I'll be like, hi, hi, how are you? You know, we have to learn that not everybody, just because they got a resting bitch face, doesn't mean you can't say hi to bitches. Because I got a couple of cousins that that's their permanent face. I think they wake up with that face. They put makeup on and still that face. So it's like, that's their face. They can't help it. It's like an expression. Like Karens. Karens can't help themselves. So don't... (laughs) Don't stop. That's it. Let's stop the shaming of the bitches. Let the bitches just be. Let us be us. We don't say. You know what kills me? Women. Do we body shame men? Because I don't think we really do. And let me tell y'all. I don't know if y'all have looked at each other lately. But y'all have some odd ass bodies. Like some uh, like women. I, I get you. There's some women that are shaped fucked up. I hear you. But y'all motherfuckers are like. I don't know if y'all realize that y'all not shaped great. There are some of you that are like mad big on the top and then got these little, little, little ass legs. But you know what? We don't say shit to you when y'all bald and got no fucking credit at all. Y'all need to use our credit. We still love y'all. We still care for y'all. But it's whatever. So you know what? Y'all need to stop making sure that Y'all start taking care of y'all women and stop fucking talking shit about and especially these famous girls that are fucking trying to make a life for themselves and do something positive and they put themselves out there in their little bikinis and you want to come fucking tell them that they look like a board. Like, really, bro? What about you? You're probably your balls are little and your dick is small. Do you hear us saying something to you? I know mad bitches that have encountered even even you, you know you big d-i-c-k niggas some of you can't do shit y'all can't f anyway so it don't matter because i did a survey i asked a lot of bitches these questions and you know what is definitely true you don't hear us fucking rating y'all the way y'all rate us like if we did that y'all be some single lonely ass motherfuckers in a group together we, yeah, we be like the muslims you know how the muslims celebrate Men on one side, women on the other. That's how y'all would be because we wouldn't fuck with y'all. We would just fuck with each other because. Don't fuck about y'all hygiene. Some of y'all. But some of y'all don't. Some of y'all don't care if y'all feet stink. Y'all be like, I don't care if my feet stink. Oh, I was working all day. But if my feet stink, oh, I'm a dirty bitch. Why? Go take a shower. But you, but you don't even want to change your socks. Like, what? That's why I tell you, fuck that. Mm-mm, no show, no, no, no me. I mean, I'm with the Sabina. Mm-mm. My mother, oof. Guys, my mom is here from DR. Can we talk about that quick and like briefly? Because God forbid she sees this live and then like fucking tries to kill me or something. My mom showed up out of nowhere. This is how she surprises her children. She just poof, calls, I'm here. Hi, guys. Pick me up at the airport. It's like, what the fuck? Like, who does that? You don't call ahead and like make sure that everything is clear. You can come. No, not her. And then she just shows up. She's like, hola, estoy aquí. Oh, Monday, I'm coming to your house to cook. I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, okay. I- I'm at work on Monday. I see. I see. I see you Tuesday. <laughs> Maybe. But, you know, it's like I love her. But she's she's a strong character. I love that lady, though. 
that lady, I, I could say one thing that she she ain't a lady. She a nigga. She drive like a nigga too. That's why. <gasps> did you guys know before anything talking about my mother that she made me think about driving? What they gonna do to all you radio heads out there? I was gonna cry because I enjoy it too. They're taking away your fucking chucheros. They're taking away your fucking radios, guys. That's it. If they see y'all with extra tints, if they see that with the little muffler thing, I don't know what that shit is called, a little pipey thing in the back, the little extra shit that makes the noise and makes the pop pop sound and makes it think there's a little shootout when there isn't it's just your fucking car if they see that if they see the speaker that comes out your car that can go on the roof of your they're taking it so guys let's try to have a lit summer without having all your shit confiscated this summer because obviously they're gonna confiscate our lives now that everything that they don't want us doing we can do because I don't think that they already take that they banned that law again that you can't have alcohol outside because I, I think that sh is still going so you know let's try our best to keep our behavior subtle guys subtle this summer keep it at a low don't make everything vibrate don't crack fucking windows let's keep it chilling because I don't want your chuchettos to go because I want to chill and listen to the music and you bike riders <sighs> I want to go watch y'all. I want to watch those crazy meat things and watch y'all do them crazy tricks. Because, yo, it be like a thousand of bike riders going up and down like, and for them. Where I'm like, mm, hi. And I don't even want to be on the back of one. I want to know how to ride one. Fuck that. I don't want to be on the back one. Did you guys know that there's a, sh a paintball on by, I think it's called Barreto Park. There's actually a paintball place to go shoot paintball. Like, that's great. I'm da I'm going because I need to release some stress and some energy. I just I, I want to invite a group of people that it's like fair that if I fuck half of you up, y'all understand why. Because like we're coming here like we're going to throw white flags at the end. I'm down. Like, I'm so down. I can't wait because I hear there's a shooting range in Jersey that I need to go to because I love the shooting range. Shit. That releases stress. Like, you know, they have also they've opened up all these smashing things where you can smash plates and. All kind of shit. They have like special rooms where you can smash a hole. Like if you hate your office, they'll de <laughs> they'll design your office so you can destroy it. So I I, I want to go there. I wonder if they'll let me set shit on fire. I'm just saying I got I want to set some shit on fire. Become a little arsonist for like ten minutes, cause I, there's certain things you can't break. You have to burn them. So fuck it. Can I do it all? I want to release, release, release. So yeah. One thing I do want to experience again this summer is bonfires. Them shits are so cool. Like, you have so much fun. Group of friends, go to fucking Walmart, get yourself some logs, throw them on there, throw a fire, burn some marshmallows, drink, talk shit, smoke, be by the water, enjoy yourself. Because I already told y'all the marina in the back. We be chilling. And we built shit. We made a swing last year. Let's see what they're going to build this year because I think they tore it down. So let's see what they're going to build this year because God knows I can't wait to enjoy this summer outside. I do picnics every Sunday. So shout out to Inwood. If y'all be in Inwood, come chill in Inwood because it's going to be great. Also, I don't know if y'all know. But do you know that there's like a whole VR place on 46th Street? I think I spoke about this the other day. But yo, VR places are mad cool. Who would have known that VR places were so, so cool? I didn't know that shit. I actually like virtual video games. And I'm not a video game person because I fucking hate Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare, what's that other game that guys play? Not um, Call of Duty. I fucking hate Call of Duty. <laughs> I, oh God, I hate Call of Duty. You know why I hate Call of Duty? Because I'll be sleeping in peace, right? And then all of a sudden you hear, Motherfucker, you motherfucker! And you're like, what? I'm sorry, what, what is the house under? I used, yo, I used to want to kill my baby father. Like, why must you scream at them? Like, you can't use your inner mean voice? You don't have an inner mean voice? Because I have an inner mean voice. You want to fucking hear it? You hear my mean? You know I'm serious right now when I'm fucking talking to you. So why you can't talk to them like that while I'm sleeping? Respect me. Oh, now I think I'm in fucking Baghdad and the whole fucking chaos is coming and the world is... No, bro, that's not fair to me. To wake up thinking that a bomb is fucking hitting my bed. Like, shit. 
Shout out to all those girls that date gamers that are not gamers. Because, girl, voy a rezar por ti porque loca. No está fácil. That's like, I think, why God didn't give me guys, boys. Because imagine, if I had to deal with little gamers, my whole house would have sounded like a fucking fuck lord. My 10-year-old playing, what's that game? Um, Oh, Jesus. Not Roblox, because that, that was another phenomenon. But that new game that the kids, all the kids play, um, that they have the little crazy horse. I forget the name of that. Fortnite? My kid be cursing on Fortnite. I hear her all the time now. And quietly, she thinks I don't hear, but I hear her calling people bitches and motherfuckers. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I can't go in the room and shout her out because she's, they can hear me screaming at her. And she doesn't like for me to embarrass her. And I don't want to embarrass her. Like, I understand when you're a little kid, you have to have your frustration. Now, I used to curse outside of my house without my mother knowing I was cursing. So who am I to fucking be a hypocrite and hate on her for cursing while I'm not around? But goddamn, little girl, your choices are words. But then I look at my mouth and I'm like, hmm, my choices of words. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. Right, can't say shit to the kid. Just got to keep it pushing. And let the kid curse the fuck out, everybody who bothers her. Because them games get serious. Y'all gamers aren't no joke. I saw a video on Instagram of a kid throwing the whole remote at the TV. Like, I'm sorry. So what the fuck are you going to play now? Because how are you going to watch it if you just threw the remote at the t- All over Call of Duty. Because he got shot or some sh- I forgot how many. They just killed him one too many times and he was angry. So I don't, gamers are serious. Yeah, bro, gamers are serious. I think gamers, if if you, I, I'm gonna have to, I have to do my research. Allegedly, I'm thinking that g- all them little Columbine kids, they were all gamers. They were all gamers. They all look like gamers. They had too much ha- time on their hands to map out and like it was like a fucking video game for them. And not only that, I think all them little mass m- little murder killers are little gamers. Sorry, sorry, gamer community. Please don't come for me. I'm not talking about you nice gamers that play peacefully. I'm just talking about you crazy ones. You know, the ones that take it too serious. They're like, yeah, little Jack, give me your address. I'm actually coming to your house. And you, you dead do. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, fucking, it's a game, my nigga. It's not even, it's virtual. It's, it's not even real. Like, why are you so angry? Like, shit. But, I mean, you know, if that's your outlet of what makes you happy, I hear you because, like I said, the Meek Mills really opened my eyes to understand all these little bike rides. My, my son-in-law is a biker. Bike life all the way. He loves, loves riding bikes. And I, I love that that's his way of, you know, relieving his stress. But I'd be scared. I'd be like, oh, my God. What about if you get hurt? What about if? I think of a thousand things. And now I get it. It's freedom. It's a different type of freedom. Like, have you ever bungee jumped? It, I feel like that's like the equivalent of, of, of feeling free, of, of, of just releasing everything and just... Like, it, you ever got on free fall on, in Great Adventures? I feel like that's the same feeling that you would get bungee jumping. Your soul leaves for like five seconds and then it returns back to you. And then you're okay. You contemplated your life because you thought you were going to die, but you really didn't. And then it was a great experience. I think writing is like that too. And I mean, so many other things. Like I imagine NASCAR drivers feel the same way. Like just think if I could do 285 miles an hour, I should not do that because I'll hit everything and everything. I'll destroy whatever the fuck I'm in. But imagine how fucking cool that is for them. That must be releasing too that adrenaline of you not knowing what the fuck is going to happen. Is your wheel going to pop? Are you going to hit the wall? Is someone going to bump your tail? Like... So many shit can happen. So it's like, to me, it's like, if you find something that pumps your adrenaline and makes you happy and keeps you going and motivates you, then fuck it, do it, even if it's illegal and it's bad and society says you shouldn't do it because I don't see nothing wrong. I feel like, why haven't they made, like, a park or a section in certain places for them to go bike riding and do all their crazy stunts and ride for how many hours y'all need to ride because y'all be riding from morning to sun like like what the fuck y'all not y'all don't get tired y'all thighs don't be hurting because i feel like when i was in dr and i used to ride like my thigh i used to hate that when i used to get off i felt like i was riding a horse or like oh fuck or if you're riding on the back y'all already know the muffler pipe will burn not the ones, I don't think the ones here, only certain bikes have the muffler on the butt part where it will burn you. But you know, I feel like, mm, I don't know if I really want, I want to ride a Pasola. 
a moped. That's what y'all call it. I call it a pasola. I want to get a little pasola or one of them. Bi- okay, that's now that we're speaking about little, yo, them little bikes that you can that are like scooters that turn into a, fuck a little bike you could sit on it and and it has little. Pa- I want one of those. Uh, they are so cool. I'm like, hmm, I can drive myself to fucking work every day. Like, th- you charge that shit and zoom, zoom, zoom. That shit goes like 20 miles per hour or some shit. Like, like, that shit is dope. And if you get tired of standing, it has a little seat. Like, thank you. So you can, I can sit down. Oh, you're so sweet. Like, fuck. I'm, I'm with it. I, I, I'm loving it. I'm like, why didn't they think about this before? Because the scooter, the other electrical scooter, that shit was uncomfortable. I don't know if any of y'all, I busted my ass like three times just trying to put my foot back into the place where I'm supposed to put it. And then my foot accidentally hit the tire. So now, now me and this heavy ass shit is falling and that ain't cute because that shit hurt. Especially if it falls on your ankle or on your calf. Like, mm, I don't even want to think about it because maybe want to beat that shit up. So this new and improved shit. I'm with the shits. And it folds up nicely and it's lightweight. Like, what the fuck? Like, when and why? The only thing I, I, the only other one that I saw that I found a little weird that I was like, nah, I'm good. Like, the level of balance that you have to have was that one that looks like a wheel. And it's like a, it's a bicycle, basically, but it's just one wheel. Like, you tripping. The amount of balance that that takes. Because one wrong tip and your life is over. I mean, like, one pebble and your life is over. Because it's just you and the wheel. And it's just pedals. There's nothing else there that's going to stop you or prohibit you from falling. Not a pole. A magical one doesn't pop up all of a sudden. It doesn't have, like, the sensors of the new 21 cars. that They'd be like, eh, 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 you're getting too close to the other car. Or you've seen the new 21. They should stop. They'll stop, mid-stop, if you're getting too close to it, like that. They should come with that. Because imagine you just, you sneezed, and you, it's over. You're hitting every car and everything else that you're next to. And God forbid you're in moving traffic. I feel like there's so much, so, 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 so much shit that they're inventing that is so cool. Like, even the hoverboard, they revamped the hoverboard. Because, you know, that shit was lighting on fire and sending little kids on fire and shit. And when they were charging, they were blowing up. Now they've revamped it. That shit is cool. Like, it's actually, you're not going to kill yourself maybe the first two times. But then after that, you'll be able to balance yourself. I like the hubby. I mean, I don't know what I'm, I'm thinking of getting something. Well, either that bike. I, I don't know. That scooter got me, bro. The scooter definitely got me. That scooter is like life. Like, that's what we should all ride. Forget about cars this summer. Let's be on scooters. And let's put speakers on the scooter. Like, what are the cops going to do? They're going to take the whole fucking scooter with our speakers? We'll put little speakers. Little ball speakers. I don't know. Let's make a go fund for, for, for equipment so we can all gear up. Because, con you, I tell you, the traffic, there's so much construction going on on the Deegan and everywhere that I'm like, what? I need a new outlet of how to get to work because I'm tired of getting frustrated in traffic. I don't know about chat, but I get passenger road rage. Dead ass. I, I have passenger road rage. I know there's mad people that experience that. Like I break, I accelerate. I do all of that with my imaginary side of the wheel and the brake and the gas. Like Y'all don't, want, y'all, y'all don't understand I'm driving too. So I want to throw shit at people. Like, I hate when people cut you off and they have no real. Me and a cat, yo, shout out to that Uber driver. I forgot his freaking name because it was so long. That shit had three W's. I was like, what? The, on everything, it had three W's. I was like, what? can you pronounce that for me? And he did. And I said it five times, and I try to use it in five different sentences. So I wouldn't thought I would, but I forgot it because it's like, well, well I, I can't even pronounce it. But regardless, he was the most funniest motherfucker there was. So we're on the highway, and right before you get from, like, the, the Deegan to where the George Washington Bridge, where it cuts off, and then it goes to the Albany to go to the Bronx, it's mad traffic. They're doing construction. They A car broke down. So this Little Chinese man, I felt so bad for the Chinese man. The little Chinese man cuts him off in a fucked up way. It could have been an accident, but the guy prevents it. Yo, my Uber driver had a 
cup of I don't know if it it looked like tea with it looked like tea like but like tea maybe like his tea bag opened and so he didn't he wasn't drinking it you know because I I saw all the little tea particles fly and then the fucked up shit was that the little Chinese man's window was open a little bit because he was talking shit to because he was honking at him I was cursing him out too and then the tea just hit the car and I was like oh shit Uber driver you with the shits. You my kind of Uber driver. Then he was like, you don't see how he drives. He drives crazy. Like, what? He was going to hit me. He was going to hit us on your side. And I'm like, yes, 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 yes. No, I, I'm with you. I'm all on your side. You you want to get out? Like, what you want to do? Uber? He was like, no, I, I, we, we have to get you to work. I'm not going to fight with him. I was like, you're right. Don't fight with him because I got to get to work, nigga. And you have three double using your name. And I have more questions. So can we get back in the car? And you could tell me what, what fuck, where the fuck are you from? And then I found out that he was from some part of Africa that is on, I think he said the west side, which has a lot of small little places. I couldn't even pronounce the part he was. It started with a K, though, I could tell you that, because he spelled it for me three times. But he was mad funny. He said I was mad funny, but he was really funny. Like, he had me crying. He was, <laughs> he was telling me that, you know, cabbies driving in the city is just getting crazier and crazier because they're not you know no one doesn't give a fuck everyone's just driving crazy so i'm like sir um you were just driving crazy um so yeah you're one of them so then we started laughing and he was like no you know i'm driving like if i'm back in my country i was like wait do you drive back in your country or do you like drive a gazelle back in your country what what are you riding so going back to the heights real quick because uh, summer is here and i i just i just gotta i gotta bring this up did y'all that get in the pump when y'all were little i know y'all got into the pump when y'all were little that was like my favorite part of this we barely went to the pool or to the beach because we had we had the booch the pool and the beach right on the corner on every corner or in the middle of the block depending on where you lived because some neighborhoods have it in the middle we had it on on each corner and they were both on and we would have a lot of fun. They would put a can, make a fucking whole rainfall, waterfall, sprinkler, all kinds of shit for us. It was great. I loved growing up in the Heights. Let me explain to you what summer like is in Washington Heights. So when people get bored and they've um, been partying the whole weekend and maybe go to Walmart, something they normally don't do, and they'll buy a slip and slide. And a pool and build it on the block and fill it. And all the kids get in and there's like, <laughs> it's like a schedule. You know what I mean? Like, all right, y'all in here for an hour. Then we got to clean it up. And then the other, like, it, I love, I love the fact that they're like, the pool's too crazy. We can't get in because of COVID. No, no problem. Espérate. Walmart. Cause I love, I love how Dominicans say Walmart. They say Walmart. I love it. I love it. I know if y'all, if y'all follow me on Instagram, Y'all heard how my mother says Shake Shack. She says Chak Chak. I, I was just like, where you went to eat? She said Chak Chak. Uh, Shake Shack? I was like, really though, lady? But you know, I love that the the com the summer in DR is... In DR. Exactly. In Washington Heights. It's like in DR. It's so much fun. It's so liberating. Like, people are dead ass having... It rains out there. Niggas is outside partying in the rain, getting wet. Because that's what we do in DR. So it's like... We need to start embracing that in other communities. Like, that ass. Like, really ha showing these kids having water fights. Do you know that that's war? There are block wars in the Heights that they have not only water fights. Fourth of July, they have firework fights. Them shits, they're funny. I remember one summer, me and my cousin were on 176. That was our favorite spot to cop at at the time. They had, the like, the best haze. Ugh, their haze was delicious. I love haze. And... These motherfuckers are lighting strips of fire. I mean, strips from like 181st to like 165th. And then they're giving each other signals. They're waiting for the D's to pass by. And then they light them as the D. Like, that takes a lot of effort and like communicating and organizing. You know, so it's like, and they do that in the summer too. They have water water fights they have a water balloon fights so it's like we need to bring that back into the communities where we all get together and have a good time show these kids how to have fun outside and stay off their phones and do interesting stuff like bro you know what it is to see a pool in the middle of the block 
Like, th- y'all have to see it. They set up a whole pool. They were in the newspaper. They wrote a whole article about them because this kid, that ass was like, fuck that. We're going to enjoy our summer. We outside, outside. I don't care. I'm going to put a pool out here so my little little cousins and my little sisters and little bro- everybody could be outside having fun. And it's great. And he was the superintendent of the building. So look at that. He was the super, like, fuck the bullshit. I'm putting a pool. And he put the little, um, the DOT's little thing to, to block anyone from coming to the pool. Like, that shit to me was dope. Like, dope. Had a water gun stand, bro. Like, how cool is that? To- Yo, let me get the what? Let me get that nine right there. Fill it up with water. Thank you very much. Like, that's so dope. Little kids having water gun fights, water balloons. So, he did this on every Monday. On, on the Mondays, he would do water gun fights for the kids. It, it, he made it fun for them, interactive for them, for them to be able to do shit. That's something we definitely have to bring back, giving these kids shit to do. Because, bro, ain't shit to do right now. Ain't shit to do. The, no after-school programs are really running. I, don't, I didn't hear nothing about summer programs being conducted. So... We need to find places and things to do with our kids. I'm ready to get a slip and slide and put it down my block and see what happens. Because I feel like I live in a circle. You imagine how fun that shit would be to go around and around and around Furley Circle. <laughs> like that shit would be dope. So I don't know. If y'all downs with the shits, let me know. Let's put water slides. You know they do that though. There is like the biggest water slide that they put. That's from Manhattan to Brooklyn. But you, but to get that shit... <laughs> You have to sign up, and if you don't sign up fast enough, that's it. It's sold out. You'll be there for days trying to freaking, please, please, I just want one. And nah, uh, so we need to build our own. I, I want to slip and slide this whole fucking summer. Fuck that. I want to have fun this summer. I feel like I definitely want to do stuff that we, we did as kids, relive our childhood. Because nowadays, niggas don't do that. Yeah, we barbecue and shit. I'm definitely... I'm definitely looking forward to the barbecues. I can't wait because I'm definitely going to be eating me some barbecue. Last year, I barely ate barbecue food because I was working all the time. But I vowed to myself that I'm not going to do that this summer. This summer, I'm going to live my best life. So, ladies, live your fucking best life this summer. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. Don't get me mad. So, I love y'all. Y'all know that I I love doing this every Thursday from 7 to 9 on S Street Media. If y'all don't follow us on YouTube, you're fucking assholes because y'all should have been subscribed because y'all hear me say this all the time. Go subscribe. Go like our shit. Go follow S Street. Don't just follow me. Follow them too. Follow S Street on YouTube. Follow it on Instagram. It's S Street Media. Follow me, Townie underscore inside underscore and in underscore and out because, you know, Instagram got to make your name extra long. But I love it anyway. And you guys know every Thursday from 7 to 9, I'm here to talk shit with y'all. Next week, I got a couple of guests I'm excited about. I have my friend Tippy coming through. She's a makeup artist. Oh, my bad. I thought I didn't. So, yeah, my friend, my friends are coming through next week. She is my first friend. Can I tell y'all that, like, it's crazy that she is my first ever friend I ever made on my own. And we're still friends to this day, which to me is phenomenal. I love her. And I feel like our friendship has never changed. Like we could go 10 years without talking to each other. And we won't pin to each other. We'll be like, oh, my God, manita, que lo que? Oh, a kiss hug. And we talk about the whole world in five minutes. And then, you know, whatever happens, happens. But I love her. She She's amazing. She's an amazing makeup artist. She's done a She's done fashion week, which I can't wait to talk to her about because I could just imagine all the tea she got back there. I know she may not want to talk about it, but she could say allegedly, you know what I'm saying? We don't got to say no names, but I know, you know what be happening back there. It'd be shit back there. The models, mm mm-hmm. They'd be fuckery. They'd be fucking with each other's clothes. It'd be crazy. I used to do catering down there, so I know. They used to be little model fights. I used to be like, damn, you ate like three leaves. Are you okay? Maybe it's just that you're hungry. Like, maybe you just malfunctioned it yourself. Like, fuck. But I can't wait. There's so many interesting things happening with women. I'm so proud of you, bitches. Eyelashes. I want to try. All right. Can I ask y'all bitches something about lashes? Maybe y'all could school me on lashes. Now, the strip 
of lashes, does that shit pull your lashes out? Cause I have nice lashes. If y'all can, if y'all can see, I got full lashes. So it's like I feel like, what the fuck am I putting on lashes for? But then I see y'all bitches with our dramatic ass thirty five fucking millimeters of lashes, just f- like a fan. T- before before I even continue, do you know where lashes came from? <laughs> I don't know if y'all ready for this. Because I don't know if y'all ready for this. So a prostitute in Paris made eyelashes. And they were not called false eyelashes. They were called cumbrellas. <laughs> That's some funny ass shit, cumbrella. She didn't want the cum coming in her eyes anymore because that shit burns and dries your fucking eyeballs. So she was like, fuck the bullshit. So... Now, when you wear them and y'all wear them long ass shits, y'all already know y'all cumbrellas is popping. But my question is, what's better, individuals or strips? Because you, I'd be so confused. Like, I hate going to the f- freaking cheap. They be like, do you want individual, bundle, or strip? I'm like, what the fuck is a bundle? Bitch, I don't even. You know what? Just forget about it. I don't even want to do my lashes anymore. Because I don't even know which one is going to rip my hair off. Which is going to make me look like a fucking, like if I'm dying. Like, nah, I'm good. I'm, I'm just going to, I'm just going to wait these options out. Then I ask my children. And of course, of course, my child is just with the shit. She don't care if they're bundles, individuals, strips. She just love lashes. So I can't trust her opinion because she loves them. So I need somebody that's biased that can tell me which are the best lashes to use when you, when you want to. You know, even if I take them, I know that you, the, the strips, you could take them on and take them off. It's the one individual ones. But are the individual ones better for your eyes as far as like taking care of, you know, keeping them on for a couple of days longer? Or do you have to keep them just so they fall off? Because that's what I'd be scared of. Like, do I have to wait for it to fall off? Because I'd be watching what y'all go through. Vaseline, coconut oil, fucking. Sp- uh, nah, I don't want to sit there and like literally soak my lashes in oil so that I don't stay bald in my lashes. Like that's that sucks when you lose all of them and then when you take them off for like a couple of days you have like three pelitos just saying hi to me and then I see your eyeball. Like that's sad. Your eye is naked. Yeah, I don't want to be naked. That's not fair to your eye. Don't rip them shits off. So educate me ladies. What lashes are the best lashes? Because for the first time I, I want to try that. For my birthday I want to I want to get really girly, like really girly. Like I want to wear shit that I would never wear. I'm not the type of girl that wears dresses and skirts and shit. Like if when I wear it, it's like a special occasion. Like I dead ass will find a dress that I could wear like a whole bodysuit with. That, you know, the dress like wraps around because I, I don't I don't like wearing dresses. Even when I was younger, when I was I hated wearing dresses. I don't know why. And shorts. I don't I've never I was never a fan of them. But, you know, I, I mean, everyone to each its own. So, ladies, please help me. We have a couple. We have, let me see, we're in, we're in, we're in March. Well, April. It's April 1st. April Fools. We're not in March anymore. We're in fucking April. April, May, June. July. We have three months to discuss this. So, y'all need to tell me who is the best eyelash girl. I know they be them Instagram girls. But I don't be trusting all that shit. Because, bruh. Some of y'all be doing some fucked up work and, and, and y'all be lying to each other. And mm. I don't want to lie. Mm. See, I want to support you, but I don't want to lie to you. Like, if I feel you have to work on your craft, I will tell you. Like, queen, listen here, boo-boo kitty. Your shit is good, but not great yet. Keep working. Keep mastering it. You know, you're going to get there. I ain't going to put you down. I'm going to still promote you and say, you know, it's a work in progress. But I ain't got a lot of people. Then they go to you and they fucking missing three patches of their fucking eyelash. And then you come at me like, you see my eyelash? You know you know what I'm talking about. I don't know if that's a like a, a style of lashes and y'all gonna get mad at me. But the ones that look like this, that this like, three, they're like three little, three little bundles of eyelash. And I'm like, who are you? Whose eye are you poking? Like, what's, are you, is that like a punk rock shit? Like, are you trying to be like rocking? Like, I don't get that one. You know what I mean? Or did your eyelash girl fuck up? That's all I want to know. I want to understand because, yo, these eyelashes are serious. They're long as shit, too. They have some that I'm like, el diablo y su madre. How do you, your eyes don't feel heavy? Like, dead ass, your eyes don't. I tried to put, I let my daughter put one on for me, and I ripped it off five seconds later. I couldn't take 
the heaviness. And it was because they were very dramatic. So I imagine you girls that I see that before you blink, your eyelash blink, it, it's like a little fan. Shoo, 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 shoo. How do y'all do it? How do y'all wash your face? Like, how do you, is there like a care kit for eyelash, for fake eyelashes? I need to find this out. How do y'all care them shits? How y'all gonna go to the pool and to the beach? Because we already know weaves and wigs. Nowadays, them shits come with like, yeah, you can wet me. I'm gonna look even cuter when I get wet. You're gonna have that wet look, curly little look. So I, what y'all gonna do with these lashes, though? They're gonna be lashes floating around the pools and the beaches all over the place. Like, we're gonna have missing found for lashes. Like, does this lash belong to you? Like, girls, I don't know what we're gonna do because fuck. I feel like a lot of the times we forget that like it's okay to be natural every once in a blue moon it's all right not to wear makeup and go outside as your natural self and let your hair breathe and just be you and i don't mean you got to go outside looking like a crazy woman like the bag lady you know what i mean with mismatching socks and pajamas and chancletas and an oversized dirty shirt that you fried chicken and no that's not what i'm talking about i mean like you still got a cute outfit but you just got your regular creams on, no makeup, no nothing. And you just be natural. Be free for a day. Don't have to worry about what the next bitch is thinking about your skin or who, what. We girls, we need to start embracing that. That You don't have to put on beach your face and put makeup on to be beautiful. Even though it's great. I love makeup. Don't get me wrong. And shout out to all the makeup artists because I was just talking about one. So I don't want y'all to think, I, you know, I love it. I can't put it on. But I love the fact. But sometimes it's all right to show your natural face. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. Like, we got to love our flaws and our good and our bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, my God. This, <laughs> there's this girl that be in, in Harlem. I know if you're from Harlem, you know her. Because she be outside with her yaddies walking up and down Harlem. If y'all don't know what yaddies are, that's her titties. And, yo, she don't give a fuck. She be outside naked. And the cops don't even fuck with her. They just leave her alone. She talks to herself. She'll curse you out. Don't look at her though. Like if you see her, beware. Just don't look at her. Don't look at her. She, Cause she's talking crazy and she ain't talking to you, but she'll death fight you. So you better not say nothing to her. She's crazy. She's mad cool though. She be outside. When she high, she be like, hey, her titties are jingling. One going that way, one going that way. Cause they look like Snoopy's ears, but it's all right. She gonna be all right. She cute though. She 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 crazy though. It's her and this other lady that's always claiming that she's on the phone with the FBI. That bitch kills my fucking soul. Cause she be in the front of the store, like, yeah, the FBI was listening on my conversation. I told you to stop playing. Don't wear that. I told you not to wear that. And I'm like, oh my God, what are you smoking? Like what? Cause I, I think there's like a new shit too. A lot of fucking kids, y'all retarded little asses, are fucking around with dust and shit. Like, y'all the fuck is wrong i want to take a bunch of you and just put you over my knee and spank the shit out of you because it's not bad enough that you're destroying your liver and your kidneys with fucking lean and perks and zen now you now you niggas want to add some other shit into the mix like what the f the fuck do you know that with angel dust you could stay in a bad trip did y'all know that yeah because that shit makes you trip like try other shit they have this new shit <laughs> yeah like try other shit don't try that though like stay away from the hard shit not to i feel like when you're old enough and you're responsible and you have your own shit that you're just gonna destroy yourself that's when you do those hard drugs not while you're living at home and giving your mom a fucking heart attack because your little high ass don't know what to do and you think somebody's chasing you but nobody is chasing you and it's just because it's your PCP monster. Like, bruh, let's get our lives together. <laughs> like, seriously. Shit, they even have, now they have these juices that um they're like water. They, they're they like hallucinating or some shit that you drink and it's supposed to make you feel happy. So all you little motherfuckers that don't know you have anxiety but are always anxious, buy you some of that shit on Amazon. It's not that much. I think it's like $20 a for like four little cans. But they work. Try it. I'm going to bring one on here. And we're going to try it together. They have a couple of nice flavors. Hibiscus. I love hibiscus. I love hibiscus tea. Hibiscus. I love hibiscus. Y'all like hibiscus? Because a lot of people don't like Jamaican hibiscus or just regular hibiscus because it has an awkward little flowery taste to it. But I like it. So they have a hibiscus one and a lime one. I'm ready to try it. And it's supposed to make you feel super calm and like 
you're just in in like this great magical little place in your mind so i'm ready to feel that because god knows you motherfuckers be killing my soul i don't know what y'all doing yeah first of all first of all i just would like to say to all of you alcoholics out there that come into places with your cups and your liquor please be respectful to the people that are helping you you i had this guy come in with his henny cup and his henny bottle now mind you this is what i understand he had henny in a in a ice cup and his little personal like 25 dollar henny i think that's how much a little personal one costs and he was drinking out of the ice and taking shots and trying to close that he's wondering why he's sweating bullets bro you're sweating bullets because you're you're taking double penetration of fucking hennessy what the fuck do you think But then he dropped his fucking drink. Didn't even bother to say that he dropped it. He just left it there and grabbed his shit and left. He brought his shit and left. Left. And I'm, I'm like, what the fuck? Where's this wetness coming from? Oh, the man's honey. The man's honey bottle that he dropped in the fucking, in the, in the dressing room and didn't give two fucks to clean it. Like, bro. <sighs> but whatever. I mean, you know, we alcoholics, we outside. With our drinks everywhere, putting our drinks on counters that we shouldn't be putting them on. Like, let's be respectful. Let's get those cute cups. Whatever happened, bring that out. Get a cute cup. Yeah, man. Yeah, got, yeah, could get those keep it cool forever cups. Them shits are dope. Let me tell you, they come in really handy. I have one at, at my job. It's a cookie jar, a cookies freaking tin that is supposed to even something hot. You throw it in there, it turns it cold. I want to buy it. I don't know where I have to look it up on Amazon where the fuck if they have I want the cookies one but I'm saying I could look for another one that's probably cheaper than the cookies one because God knows that shit's probably expensive because it's sold out online because everything gets sold out of theirs online I wanted a freaking this cute ass socks because they had these sold out I'm like god damn y'all sell out faster than fucking pancakes but I think that's just you know the new trend have y'all seen the runs varsity jackets them shits is fire too them shits is hot too. They're stepping their game up. I don't know who does runs. Who the fuck is the run? Who runs runs? I don't. Can anybody tell me who runs runs? I know Burner runs cookies, but who runs runs? It's like he's a quiet person. I never hear nothing. Uh, uh. Yeah, like he's myster- He's mysterious. It's like runs man. Who are you? Let me know who the runs guy is. Cause come on, bro. Like you put Obama on a shirt. You said. Obama runs uh, Apparently Obama was smoking runs So come on talk to me who are you Cause I don't even know who fuck runs is I know you gotta be some hood nigga I, kn- I know you have to be some hood nigga Because God knows for you to runs That's the, the worst of the litter But you make it great Cause that should be fucking people up I, That white runs mm-hmm. I love it but regardless That's coming out with mad shit I love all the new brands that are popping out Like mad Mad new brands popping out. Like, y'all youngings, y'all taking fashion to a whole... I spoke about this last week. I told y'all about the bell-bottom jeans that are coming around and all this new shit. Did y- y'all seen this new trend with the guy jeans that at the bottom, they open up and they, like, have the little zipper? Oh, them shits is fire. I was like, okay, aren't you? Y'all... Y'all literally stepping y'all, y'all like really stepping y'all game up. Like niggas are really fuck about looking hot and you know all designer shit. Nah, y'all really fashion forward now. Y'all really into that. I want to look different. I want to feel. Okay, heard you. I like this little bell bottom look on certain guys, not all. Certain guys, I feel like y'all should just stay away from that and find another style. Kangos too. Can we bring Kangos back, please? Kangles are so sexy on a guy. I find like the, oh, well, Kangles are not for everyone, but I mean like the right person. <laughs> Kangles are so sexy. Guys, it's not fucked up to throw on a pair of wallabies and some, mother, you, you, you remember wallabies? <laughs> throw on some nice cute little Uggs. That's what you guys would use nowadays. Uggs or something and look cute. Throw some slacks on, a little polo, little, you know, look cute for a day. That's not dressing square or nothing. That's just you, you know, on your grown and sexy shit. I love men that smell good and look good. But I don't I always don't want to see you in hoodwear. Can I see you in something else besides hoodwear? Like I know Lacoste and Polo be coming out with some nice little shorts and even cause I I, I don't know, Billionaire Boys Club. Day, day shorts are oh, they're a little out there for me 
Like some of them last year, they're in Broadview. I was like, what the fuck? Was he was smoking some real good out of space weed that he put flowers all over this? Like, okay. And stars, I heard you, bro. Beautiful colors, coral, beautiful. Co- but I was like, what the, f- what the, f- what the fuck were you thinking? What? All right, but niggas brought it. There was a, you know, niggas got it. I hear you. But fuck, I'm like, let's let's uh, tone it down into making niggas look like bitches. You know what I mean? Cause it's it's not safe out here. Niggas are really starting to act like the bitches. So I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Let's start bringing back that. Go, you remember back in the day, Mav, your mama would dress you in that little suit that you fucking hated on Sunday or just you were going to your auntie's house and she would put on the slacks with the little suspenders and the button down shirts and you didn't have a choice with your little penny loafers. They don't, we don't do that to our kids nowadays. Easter, you know what we're doing on Easter is we buying them Jordans and white ups <laughs> and little cute little outfits to go with. Like, what happened to dressing them in them dresses? With all the cancan that I hated. I hated that cancan. That shit itches your legs. And those pantyhose with the ugly little fucking designs on them. And the little socks with the little bows. And those ugly patent leather shoes. Oh, I hated that shit. But at the same time, I miss it now. My, ki- my kids are too old. They don't want to do that shit. They'll look at me and slap the shit out of me. Like, what the fuck? I ain't wearing that. You're tripping. I'm like, I wore it. Why shouldn't you? Like, I feel like, you know what? I'm. A, I'm <laughs> I saw this movie called Yesterday. I don't know if you guys heard of it. It's where parents say yes for a whole day. Like, you just say yes for the whole day. What It don't matter what. The, it just can't be future. It has to be, like, present something you could do at the moment. Like, you want to go somewhere? You want to fly off? Some, yes. You want to eat something? Yes. Every, so, you know, I'm like, I want to have a, a 1980 day where you have no cell phone, no cable, just channel 5, 9, 11, 4, 2, 13 and I think it was like 21 or some shit like that I don't even remember and if you if your mama worked hard you maybe had HBO Yanni no phone no social media like you think y'all would survive y'all having to go to a payphone and put a quarter in to call the house well y'all wouldn't or have to be inside the house when the light streets go off because that was your curfew y'all wouldn't be able to survive that shit but I would love to bring back like an old back in the day day. Like little kids don't play manhunt, none of that shit like we used to back in the day. We used to come up with the craziest shit. In DR, we used to play La Latica. La La, I used to, that was, oh, I used to love fucking, because that was, that's Dominican manhunt. They take a can and they tap it on the floor three times and then they throw it and everybody runs. And you know, you hide and we got to find each other. What? Yeah, la, la tica, yeah, and then they call you when they catch you, and then it's over for you. Then you there counting, and you know you gotta throw the can and back at it again. You go. I used to love playing that shit out there. Like we used to have so much fun out there. It's crazy though. Like kids are really resourceful in Dominican Republic. I must say. I remember there was this little kid that lived across the street. That his name was Michael, or it was Michelle, but. It was supposed to be Michael, and they just fucked it up and named the little nigga Michelle. But it was like Michael or some shit. He would take bottle tops and make them into little, like, he would make cars. He would take a stick and balance the bottle top and roll it up and down the block. Like, that takes talent. Like, I wish I knew what he was doing now. You know what I mean? Because he, he must build some shit. Have to because when I tell you this little kid was talented with a couple of soda bottles, a two liter soda bottles, he would make and a milk carton, a little juice carton. He would make a little car for himself. Like that's mad creative. You know what I mean? He he was poor. He didn't have toys, so he would make himself toys. I thought that was mad cool. I was a girl, so he didn't want none of my fucking toys because I would leave all my toys in DR. Kids were happy when I came there for the summer because I took ex- on everything. I would take one luggage just full of toys, Barbies, and they all and brand new shit that I probably play with. Just like I, it was all staying out there. I used I used to come back naked because I was mad. I would be like, oh, you you can have it. Oh, because, you know, I used to see my mother, and my grandmother being like that with everyone for the neighborhood. They would pick up clothes and shit for them. So I was like, oh, this is what you're supposed to do. So what? I wish I would have had toys for him. But I didn't because I'm a girl and I only had Barbies and shit. And he didn't want to play with none of my motherfucking Barbies. And even my car, he told me no because it was pink. And I was like, oh, OK, I heard you. 
And he kept playing with his little freaking milk carton car and crashing it into the other one. I was like, but that shit is falling apart. You could destroy this one on the corner with the side. All right, Harder, you don't want my pink Barbie car. All right, no problem. I'll take my pink Barbie car down the block. But it was nice to see back then how creative kids would get to make toys and do create games. Remember Lava? You couldn't touch the floor. You had to, or you couldn't touch the cracks. You had to jump on every. Like, we used to come up with the most craziest shit. Now, you little motherfuckers are online cursing each other out playing online video games or you're standing outside on your phone in a group together (sighs) like and not only that nowadays one friend needs 10 friends opinion on what to do with anything hats clothes like what the Ooh, yesterday i wanted to punch this little boy in his face (laughs) dead ass so he brought do you know jay-z so Jay Z put the Dominican flag on one of his hats, on a couple of his hats. So you know, I'm I'm proud that he did that. You know, he he's acknowledging the Dominican community. Thank you, Jay Z. Shout out to you. This little nigga comes to return it because his little friend told him that it wasn't popping. So I'm like, mind you, a little kid is not Dominican or anything like that. But you don't have to be to wear it because y'all wear all other kind of shit, and it's ma- it's small. It's in the back. Like, why? Why did you have to like come and return it the way he did? He was like, "Oh, I don't want that. That's not that's not cool. Like, I I don't I don't I don't I'm not demanding." And I was like, "Okay, bro, take it easy. I mean, you know, there's mad like black, white, Are you Chinese. Them? Are you them about it? I, I'm, they did. The friend came with him. The one that pressed him. I had to curse the little motherfucker out because then he was every hat that he liked." He was like, nah, that shit ain't, that shit ain't busting, nah, that shit ain't pop. I'm looking at him like, shut the, f- is it your head? Is it yours? No, it's his. Like, why are you coming at him? And then the little nigga has a small ass head, so I didn't have his size and a lot of hats. So I was like, you know what, at this point, you're just going to take what the fuck I give you. So I found him a hat that he didn't want, that he had to give me $10 more for. And I was like, here you go, have a great day, because your friend pissed me off. So before I beat you and your friends up, have a great day, guys, good night. They were my last customers. They were in there for 45 minutes. F- 45 fucking minutes. And then he had a ponytail. He kept putting his hair in the fucking hat to try. I, oh, my God. I just want to punch you little kids in the face. I don't know how I'm going to do it this summer. I think I'm going to, I don't know. Me and my boss are going to have to talk. Like, I'm going to need one of those. I, right, math? Them shits look like they're going to fuck our lives up. I'm going to eat half of one and take the other half while I'm walking. Because I know that's going to kill. You know, we're about to eat some some carrot cake eddies because you already know what was before this. So it's about that time. And guys, I will just want to tell you, if y'all don't fucking go follow my Instagram and S Street's Instagram, I'm going to start like, I'm going to start being mean to y'all. No, I'm lying. I'm just going to start cursing y'all out. But come out to our event this Saturday. Let me get the information because I feel like... As women, we need to definitely step out for each other. Like, dead ass. It's on my Instagram, just in case you don't follow me, which y'all should. It's Saturday, April 3rd. Starts at 6. It's Queens That Build. Do you hear that, babies? Queens That Build. Because we're all queens. Hello. We all have to start treating each other like and calling each other like. But there's going to be poet, artists, models, performances, fashion. Like, Y'all already know if y'all got something, there's going to be vendors. Come through. Show love. Hit a bitch up and I will send you the Addy. Come through. Support women, small businesses. That's what we got to do. We got to start supporting each other and empowering each other. Who knows? Network, girls. Y'all never know. Y'all could learn something from the other person who's already doing it and motivate you to do your own shit. I feel like there's so much shit that we think about that we be like, nah, nobody. Yeah, bitch. Somebody may like it. You don't know who who the fuck. It may not be on the market in your way. So let's go get it. So come out Saturday. Celebrate with us from 6 to I don't know what time. Maybe like 11, 12 o'clock, you know, because you know how it be, guys. We like still like kind of on a fucking curfew kind of. Even if we're not, that's how we feel. Can't party too, too late nowadays. So come out, celebrate, let's watch the fashion, let's watch these beautiful queens on what they got, what they're going to show us, what they got to offer, because I can't wait. I love poetry. I love me some poetry. I used to, 
I was such a geek when I was younger. I used to go to them little poetry little cafes and sit there and listen. I used to, I was such a fucking, I was, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a romantic. I love Love Jones. Like, I'm, I suck. I suck. Because I Love Jones was an awesome fucking movie. It definitely it made me believe in love in all ways. <laughs> Even bad love. It's true. Sometimes you have to go through shit and let each other go and come back. And realize if it was worth it. Yeah. I love, I love Love Jones. And that song, Penny. Oh, I love that song. That's another shit. Like, we... Music. Oh God, I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray this year. Because, bro... We need to get back to like real music. We need to bring back that real, let's get funky, let's get soulful, let's get happy. Let's talk about positive shit. Let's talk about loving each other. Like, they don't talk about that no more in music. Like, it's crazy. Y'all don't, the only certain little, um, what's that style, that new style of rap? Um, I always forget. Drill. There's a couple of drill artists that are actually speaking positive about love, which I'm loving because it's like, Y'all need to stop being so negative towards each other. Women, too. You know what I mean? Like, men aren't... We, girls, if your nigga treats you good, you got to treat your nigga good, too. So if your nigga gets your nails and your hair done, treat that nigga to a haircut. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Take him to get a pedicure. Maybe he's never had one. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, like, buy your nigga a hat. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Like, you, we expect so much from men, but at the same time, all we think that we got to do is cook, clean, and <clears throat> all other, you know, cor- extracurriculum activities. And no, that's not all. We, we got to support them, too. They, you know that they, they can feel bad and cry and be depressed. They don't always got to be, <sighs> no, they go through that shit, too. We got to see the signs and know when to buffer and not be a bitch and nag their life away. So I'm just saying, we got to bring old school back. Because that shit died out, like, seriously. I love seeing on social media young people that, excuse me, that have been together since they're, like, junior high school. They're like, we're still together, and, you know, they're in their 40s. Like, that's beautiful to me. Like, to be able to really learn and grow with somebody and want to be with that person and stay with that person through the good, the bad, and the ugly, that shit don't happen. That's only back in the 40s and the 50s. That shit don't exist no more. All you niggas want to, even bitches, now y'all want to be doing sneaky links because that's what's cute. No. Fuck. Chase y'all goals. Chase y'all dreams. Chase real love. Chase real shit. Fuck the bullshit. I don't know. I'm trying, I'm trying to real, I'm trying to bring real back. Some way, somehow, maybe me sitting here every Thursday drilling this shit into y'all head. We're going to start doing shit and start being real with each other and start being real friends and real relationships because we all know we all do it we be having our one main boyfriend that that's our boyfriend then we got like six guys we're texting that they entertain us when our boyfriend when we're mad at our boyfriend or with like that's not nice because what you think that three four five and six ain't sad when you don't want to talk to them they sad you know what i mean just like your niggas bitches you think Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ain't mad too that he gotta be home at two o'clock in the morning because if Nacho lock his lock his ass out and fucking key his car and cut clip his credit. Nah, nigga. <laughs> like niggas understand. We all gotta play our role and fucking be nice to each other and start playing nice and bring real back. Be real with each other. Say what you really want. Fuck that. That's why I say learn how to say no. Learn how to say yes to what you want and no to what you want to. Cause 2021, that's what it should be about uplifting and empowering yourself because that's what i'm with that's what i'm about right now fuck that i'm about to start telling man motherfucker no no thank you because i feel like people feel they're obligated to for you to say yes no the fuck i'm not i can say no if i want to say no and i shouldn't feel guilty about saying no so for tw- for the next of the 20 i'm no gracia but i'm saying yes to every outside adventure so if you invite me outside to do something fun i'm gonna say yes but you invite me to do some shit i don't know quiero hacer nada so don't ask me to do something for you. Don't ask me to go nowhere for you. No. I want to do fun stuff. No sad stuff. So guys, girls, get your shit together because I want to be outside, outside. Oh my God. And yeah, I knew all these drinks, all these new drinks that are coming out. You know how many drinks I want to fucking try? Like, oh my Lord Jesus. Like, I have a list of all the drinks I'm going to make every Sunday. I don't even know yet. I'm trying to think if it's just going to be on Sundays that I'm going to be making these drinks because 
bro, all these combinations. I didn't even know you could do so much stuff to Hennessy. Who knew? I thought Hennessy was just like apple juice, cranberry juice, or motherfucking Red Bull. That was it. Lemonade and Henny? Have you ever had the jarrito? I don't know how to pronounce that shit, but that's that Mex Mexican soda. The tamarindo one with he bro. That's a, I think that's a, a guy drink, though, a grown and sexy man drink. Like, oh, I'm so ready for, for all these summer drinks. I'm so ready. I can't wait to be lit all summer because I want to be lit all summer. I want to do mad crazy shit this summer. I want to I wanna travel somewhere crazy. That's some shit that I've definitely... What's the most craziest place to go to? Like, I feel like Dubai, that's it. My people have gone to the... But what is, like, one of them hidden gems... Like, school me. Anybody know of some hidden little islands nobody really talk about that is good to explore that I need to go to? I need a, an exciting adventure. But in somewhere that not everybody's there because I... Look at what happened to Flo... Okay, let's talk about that before I get out of here. Did y'all see what the fuck happened for spring break in Florida? Like, it looked like New York City on a Saturday night. Um... Yeah. Bro, they destroyed the beach. There was so much garbage. I felt bad. Florida was not ready for all these out-of-towners. Y'all destroyed Florida. They put a curfew in Puerto Rico, bro, because of so many spring breakers. 8 o'clock was the curfew. You had to be inside. Like, that's crazy. So, you know, let's be respectful this summer, bro. Let's not make it bad for all of us. Let's have fun, moderate fun, crazy fun in places where nobody could tell that we're being crazy. Because, coño, I want to have fun this summer. Even though I would really love, ha did you have a, did you have, while COVID was going on, did y'all go to those little scavenger hunt clubs? Bro, them shits were fun. They would send you like a location and then you had to follow the location and a little map and they would highlight how you could get to them. We went to one in a skater park, and I think it was in the Heights. That shit was fun as shit. Like, I had so much fun. So I'm down for these, you know, underground parties. Let me know about them. I'm, I'm down with them because fuck that. Not, and even the strip clubs. I heard there's underground strip clubs. Put me on, bro. Let me know. I like seeing ass shake. I like throwing dollars. I like making it rain. So put a bitch on. Let me know where these places at because I've been... I've been inside for too long, so I'm outside now. So help me out, guys. Tell me where to go, because I need your information. I need y'all to plug me in. Plug me into all the, ap not afties. Mm, I don't really want to go to afties, because I feel like afties are dangerous. Afties are always like holes in the walls with like one way in, one way out. And mm, I don't be down with that. I need like three exits, like where there's like a sign, like exit here, exit there. If anything, there is one there. Like, mm, mm mm nah. So I'm not with the after you, so don't hit me about it. About it. Unless they got fucking three exits. You heard my cries. Three exits. Thank you. Please and thank you. But hit me up. Let me know what's popping this. Where should I go? Because I need to go outside. I've been inside too long. Don't we want to go outside, guys? We want to go outside. Y'all want to go outside with me? Because y'all know I'm bringing y'all outside the whole summer. Y'all better get ready because y'all going to be flooded. YouTube, I hope y'all ready for me. I hope y'all ready for me because we're going to be outside, not only on Thursday. It's going to be other days that we're just going to be outside, outside. Feel me? Because we're not just always going to be inside all the time. We need to be outside. Fuck the bullshit. We were inside for too long. So y'all already know the deal. Let me know what hot places. Hit me up, DM me, Snapchat me, whatever the fuck y'all have to do to let me know the locations to these new underground strip clubs because I need to go. They look interesting and fun. Bitches done worked out. Bitches done worked on their craft. Done did all kinds of shit because they had poles in their house. And only fans. I'm with it. I can't wait. So let a bitch know where these shits are at. Because I'm ready. These bitches need to pay their bills too. Let's help these bottle girls too. So don't fuck it up for everybody else. You know what I mean? Be respectful when they let you know. Don't drive there. Uber there. The whole point of them giving you a location is so that you're not parked and making a fucking mess because that's how niggas find out that we outside. So take a Uber, guys. Uber to these secret locations. Ubers. Thank you. And y'all already know I love y'all. Every Thursday is always litty for me. I love being here and talking shit with y'all. Please put me on to some great places to travel to. Put me on to your your summer crazy adventures that y'all want to do. I'm starting a bucket list. I think I'm going to start a summer bucket list 
from June. What date summer starts? I think summer starts June 20th or something like that. I'm going to look that shit up. I think it starts June 20th. But I'm a, and it's Father's Day too, right? I believe so. <laughs> look at that. First day of summer and it's... Oh, yeah, yeah, fuck it. Y'all, y'all get to get it. I'm going to start from that day till September, whatever day summer ends. Because when I tell you, that's it. We... I'm outside, outside. Y'all ain't ready for my outside. I'm ready to fuck shit up. So if y'all see me outside acting a fool, don't judge me. Just join me. Have fun. Be free. Live free. Because that's what I'm about this summer is having fun. So don't care about what time I come home because I'm, I'm not coming home. Even the kids are going to be outside with me. Fuck the shit. We're going to be outside. All of us outside. You ready, math, to be outside? We're about to be outside this summer. We need to have fashion shows outside. All kind of shit outside. We're about to do this broadcast outside. Shit, it's going to be lit this summer. I can't wait. So much popping shit should be happening this summer for all of us. So stay positive, love yourselves, embrace yourselves, push each other, motivate each other. And y'all already know the deal. I'm always here every Thursday from 7 to 9 on S Street. Follow me on Instagram. Follow us on YouTube. Go subscribe, like, share. Y'all already know the deal. It don't cost you nothing. Just your finger to go, eh, eh, that's it. So y'all already know, much love. Every Thursday is always my pleasure to be in here. Tell me inside and out where I am transparent, whether you like it or I like it. Y'all already know the deal. I love y'all. Have a great night. See you next Thursday.